Well, the state is hoping that new incentives will actually encourage parents to get their kids vaccinated. Today, the state doubled its prize money for the Ohio Vax to School program. Vaccinated kids aged 5 to 25 will have a chance to win scholarships out of a $2 million pot. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now with the rules of the game. Hi, Monica. Uh, hey, guys. Rule number one, most important, especially for someone like you, although sh uh, she's not five years old yet. Well, <laughs> remember, you got to talk to your pediatrician, especially mm -hmm. if you have any concerns about getting your child vaccinated. Yes, COVID initially was relatively easy on kids, but the Delta variant changed that, and more and more more kids are getting hospitalized. So for those already vaccinated or starting their first dose, here's what you need to know. It all begins Monday. Currently, the contest is open to all Ohioans aged 12 to 25 who have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. But it will be expanded to include ages 5 to 11 if the FDA approves a vaccine for that age group. Students can sign up Monday at ohiovaxtoschool.com or by calling 1-833-4-ASK-ODH. Parents must sign up those 17 and under. Those entered have a chance to win one of 150 $10,000 scholarships or one of five $100,000 scholarships. The money will be awarded in the Ohio 529 College Advantage plans and can be used at the Ohio College, University, Technical, Trade, or Career Program of choice. Vaximillion signups will not transfer over to Vax to School. Students must enter this contest separately. Because they're waiting for vaccine approval for 5 to 11 year olds, there is no set deadline to enter. They expect to begin drawing by the end of this year. Ohio lottery officials say winners will be pulled in the same style as the original Vaximillion contest. The Ohio Department of Health will verify each winner's vaccination status. So where's the prize money coming from? Well, of course, it's part of the federal coronavirus relief fund, similar to how Vaximillion was funded. And if we get the vaccinations up, the number of vaccinations up, that's $2 million very well spent. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what happened with Vaximillion. If you'll recall, it was the first two weeks after Vaximillion was announced. Vaccination rates did skyrocket. Yeah. Then they went back down. They did. Yeah. So Before you go, I read a blurb today about a Merck drug that is showing promise as a treatment for COVID-19 patients. What can you tell us about that and when it might be available? Yeah, this is really good. Merck is actually ahead of the pack with its new antiviral and says its experimental pill reduced hospitalizations and deaths by half in people recently infected with the coronavirus. And Merck said it will soon ask health officials here in the U.S. and around the world to authorize the drug's use. They'll ask for emergency use authorization uh, here in the states. But of course, you know, by the time that happens, it's not going to be available for a couple of months. But I, I keep saying Pfizer has one too, similar to it. Mm -hmm. And these are really important. If you if you would, you think about them like the Tamiflu for COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you if you have it, you would take it within five days and, and it will help. It stops the virus from replicating. And it may also be useful if somebody in your household gets COVID. As a preventative. Um, as a preventative. So it is a preventative, not, uh, I mean, it, it's a treatment more yeah. than a preventative. Yes, yeah. yeah. It, the, I mean, the bottom line is the goal of this antiviral is to stop COVID from replicating. Yeah. And that's increasingly important these days. You know, that's what's causing all the new variants and the more we spread. So if we can stop it from replicating and stop somebody from getting sick, yeah, money. A big part it's good of the to see that they're coming up with treatments too as we see all these breakthrough cases. Yeah, we need more and more of those. All right, all right. thanks, Monica. Sure. Thank you.